Moments after learning the president signed the declaration, the Border Networks of Human Rights officially announced they will be filing a lawsuit. Our crews were there for a press conference detailing why that will cause more harm than it seems for border communities. Local 23's Tatiana Favela reports. Tatiana? On the repairable damage is what local nonprofits as well as the El Paso County are saying will happen to communities here at the border in response to the president's emergency declaration. This is a declaration of war against our immigrant communities, a declaration of war against refugees and asylum seekers and families. This is, this is, this is not what America is about, and I think we, uh, it, it, the president should be ashamed by doing that. Moments after President Trump signed the state of emergency declaration, Border Network for Human Rights along with the County of El Paso will be represented by Protect Democracy and the Niskanen Center, which have filed a prepared lawsuit against the declaration. Their reasons? Simply being an unlawful decision. This is not a partisan thing. This is not about Democrats and Republicans. This is about the future of the nation. If we allow a president of the United States to become a dictator, then democracy will die in America. We have decided that we want to be on the forefront of this fight because we have been the focal point uh, and, 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 and have been kicked and put down and beaten and we're tired of it. The goal is not only to prevent the wall from being built, but also clarify what they say is a distorted narrative of El Paso. As it has in the past, we'll continue to do damage to us, uh, to our community, when it comes to things like attracting businesses, attracting doctors, healthcare professionals, uh, people that, that, that we need to come to this community, you know, it's going to severely damage our, or continue to severely damage our tourism industry. The founding director of Border Network says this declaration will strip away the will of the people. It's very risky what the president is doing. I mean, taking dictatorial powers, that endangers democracy, not only at the border, but at, in the nation. As Garcia mentioned, the goal of this lawsuit is to not only prevent the wall from being built, but also protect democracy for the border and the nation as well. In the studio, Tatiana Favela, Local 23 News. Tatiana, thank you.